So I've got another self-indulgent unboxing here to do. I'm unboxing the MCR 320QP stack. So there's actually two different MCR 320QPs, and I'll get into what that is in just a moment. It comes in a plain brown box, and yes, this is yet another water cooling item. I'm actually working on a, on a new water cooling build right now, so this is all stuff that I've actually bought for a system that I'm building in the Corsair Obsidian 800D. So for starters, let's get into what comes in the accessory package. First of all, we have a wide variety of rubber O-rings. Looks like it comes with six. We have, these are great, four little tiny stubby fittings. So these are half inch, are they all half inch? Yes, they are all half inch fittings. So how this is designed to work is if you have two of these stack radiators or a stack and a non-stack, you would actually, so these O-rings are for all the fittings that you would need to stack two radiators together with two fans sandwiched in between. You use the little stubby fittings in here and the water actually flows in parallel between the two rads and you use two of these um, worm drive clamps in order to make sure that the tubing doesn't slip off in between. Not that I would worry too much about that, but it also prevents leaks if you use a worm drive clamp. Okay, so we have a stackable series radiators informational guide. Now I'm probably going to throw this unboxing up on the product pages for both of the two different rads. However, uh, we're, this is obviously the stackable one, so there are sp some specific instructions including how to attach one stackable and one normal rad in order to get the benefit of additional cooling capacity. There's also a quick guide here on how to use the little fasteners for attaching fans to the radiator, and that's about it. Okay, and then there's your standard MCR XXX, so whichever MCR series rad you're using, uh, installation guide. So that shows you how to use a screw to attach the fan to the radiator and uh, caution, do not poke the screws too far and pierce the radiator fins is probably what that is cautioning you not to do. Yes it is. Okay so in this little cardboard thingamajiggy it's protected by cardboard so that these screws won't bounce around and puncture the radiator in transit. We've actually got 12 long screws and 4 short screws. So the 12 long screws would be used to attach 3 fans uh, to each mounting point on the rad and then the 4 short screws will be used to attach this entire radiator and fan assembly up into the top of the 800D case, which I will likely show at some point in the future and I'll make an annotation here if I ever get around to it. So here we have a nice sort of uh, papery, clothy shroud over a tissue paper shroud over the radiator itself. So Swiftex MCR series rads are a quiet radiator. So what that means is that there's a low FPI or fins per inch count. So that means that it is optimized to work best with quiet fans versus any a competing radiator which might have more densely packed fins, which will perform better if you have high CFM fans, but not nearly as well if you have low flow fans. So I'm going to be using relatively low airflow fans, some Yate Loons. So this is definitely the optimal setup for me. You can see we've got our threaded mounting points. Uh, sorry, excuse me, 12. Uh, six aside. Okay, and then we have the same thing on the other side of the rad. Now, what you may or may not have noticed when I flipped that over is that there are actually mounting spots for the barbs on both sides of the stackable radiator. So that's what I was talking about before where I was saying you can actually use either two stackables or one stackable and one non-stackable in order to set up two radiators next to each other with just fittings in between. A normal radiator would only have fittings on one side. So thank you for checking out my video blog and unboxing on the Swiftec MCR 320 Quiet Power stackable or non-stackable, depending which product page you're looking at, radiator.